Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a brand new high energy heroes video. Now guys, if you are aware of this, if not, I'm about to tell you, the game might be very well coming to global very soon. It might be vastly approaching a potential global release date. As you can see in the background, it is currently in the Chinese version only. So I thought, why not make a good start with some nice content for the game with a essential beginner tips for the game so five essential beginner tips for high energy heroes now bear in mind like i say i use the chinese version now the global will look exactly the same except everything will be in english or german or spanish or whatever language you actually speak that's been added to the game and it won't be in chinese and, and you know you'll be able to understand what it's saying so without further ado guys before we get into the video if you would do us a massive favor help support the channel by liking the video down below and make sure you do subscribe as well all right guys if you are familiar with apex legends or apex legends mobile some of these tips may seem a bit obvious to you but this is mainly for people who are beginners to the game don't really know what's going on or what to expect so hopefully people like that do find this guide very useful and helpful and i hope the like down below anyway guys first and foremost tip number one each hero on the game has a passive ability an active ability and an ultimate ability all of these are unique to the hero so if i go in here and I'll show you the different heroes. Now, this one, Angela, that I use the most is a support class. Obviously, you've got different ones. You've got you've got a, uh, scout ones or whatever. Attack, you've got scouts. Sorry, you've got attack, you've got scouts, and you've got support. Now, this one, for instance, is, like I say, a support character. Now, you can't see what they see on the left here. However, I know what our skills do, so I'll just give you a rundown sort of example of the three different skill types so you've got the first one here at the top left is a passive ability which basically means if she's reviving someone a drone will revive for her and she doesn't have to sit there and do it the active skill is a healing drone which can be placed on the floor generates an area of healing around it and it has a forward face and shield as well to deflect damage and finally the ultimate calls down a care package full of gear for you or your teammates to use so like i say every single character every single hero legend whatever you want to call it on this game has the same basic three three things basically three different skills you've got your passive your active and your ultimate all right guys next on the list in at number two is the gear modes of the game better understanding of the gear modes will help you to win or play more of ex exactly what you want to do now we've got various uh, modes however they're not all available to for us to show you right now but they do sort of alternate it's a bit like warzone where it alternates between different modes now you've got your regular right at the top here four squad battle royale ranked this is the the general mode that everybody plays but anything in this menu at the top will be classed as ranked and it'll go towards your overall seasonal rank as you can see currently i am diamond two so quite high as it is now yesterday before i record this video there was trios and there was a timed limited zone in this category as well but they have been they have disappeared for whatever reason they've just been took out maybe they'll come back at a certain point i don't know when but we've also got duos that's a new one which is only available at a certain time of day same as the other modes will only be open at a certain time of day but generally speaking you'll have the four player squad mode now if you go down to the next menu you've got arena modes now these vary from literally a team deathmatch to a sort of knockout where you pick your weapon you die you die sort of knockout sort of not like diffuse there's no bomb to diffuse but that sort of thing where it's 5v5 or 6v6 whatever it is this one happens to be 4v4 and whichever team wins basically any amount of rounds so there's plenty of stuff for you to practice on also down here we've got a training range where you can practice various guns and this one is custom lobbies but you have to have the certain uh, tickets to open one i think i've got a couple but i've got nobody to actually open a custom lobby with so it's kind of, kind of pointless at this point anyway Moving on to the next one. 
So guys, there are four types of drop zones. This is tip number three. Four types of drop zones for you to drop into the game. This is going to vary depending on what loot you want and what your strategy is for the, the game ahead. So you need to pay attention to where these are, what the sort of mean and how to really get to them. I mean, how to get to them is a bit self-explanatory. You jump out the aircraft and you head towards them and you land there. But like I say, there's four different types of zones you can land in on this game. Now, it starts with unique gold areas. Now, this, this is a random place in every match, and it'll be highlighted by a gold beam coming from the sky. And, of course, on the map, it'll have a place name and a gold little line next to it. Now, this will have gold um, chests in it. So, you know the chests you find around the map? They've got gear in and stuff. You'll have a stack of gold ones at this location, which will have gold gear in. It'll have four-star guns, and it'll just generally have really good gear in. So, it's it's the best place to drop, but it's also one of the places that absolutely everybody drops at, so you've got to be careful. Now, next you've got Epic Drops, which is highlighted by a purple line next to the place name. These are Obviously, epic loot areas, you're going to find a lot of purple items, perhaps one or two yellow items if you are lucky. But, pretty decent place to land, you're still going to be able to kill up a full squad pretty easily. Next, we've got rare, which is indicated by a blue line next to the place name on the map. So, when you're on the dropship, you can see the place names around the lab, a little line next to the name. Rare, general sort of blue items and stuff will be in that area and then finally you've got normal areas which will have a white line which will just have very very basic gear in probably best to land there if say you're a beginner at the game you don't want to face anybody else because i tend to find nobody actually drops in these zones and they're relatively easy to sort of get a basic kill up and then venture out into the rest of the battle royale map and kill some players maybe take their gear if they have landed somewhere good so like I say, four different types of drop zones depend entirely where you want to drop, what sort of game you want. You can hot drop every single game if you want to. Why not? I've seen lots of people do it. So guys, number four on this list is about attachments. Now, when you pick up a gun, I pick up any gun really, it'll have attachment slots on it where you can get, say, muzzles, magazines, stocks, etc. Or maybe it's a laser sight if it's a... A hip fire weapon. Now attachments improve the stats of guns and have that one rarity from gold being the best to purple to blue to white similar to the drop zones. Now obviously higher the rarity better the stat increase or perks to the gun itself that it gives. This also counts for armor and backpacks obviously the higher quality the better the are. Now an example of this would be the gold magazines. Now Let's, for instance, say I've got a gold magazine right now for me, me M4 that I've got in my hand right now. If it was gold, obviously it would it would have the same ammo increase as a purple magazine, but it would also have a perk. And the perk with magazines is that it will automatically reload your gun when you're not using it. So if I swap to another gun, like on the other hand, and I'm not selecting this one at the time, and it's not fully like sort of reload it, the gold magazine will automatically reload it for us. Now similarly, if you have a gold backpack, you will revive people with more health and shield. If you've got a gold um, armor, the healing items you use on yourself will have double the effect. So it's just, you'll learn as you go which ones do what, but gold being the best, purple obviously higher quality. Gold's just the same as purple, but with an added perk on top of that. Okay, guys, tip number five. This is the last one of the video, so if you haven't liked down below, please make sure you do, because I do appreciate it. And do make sure you subscribe to the channel, not miss any of my live streams or any more uploads for this game. Now, new heroes on this game. How do you unlock them? You've got... I've got... Uh, 10 currently 10 heroes you can see the last one there I haven't actually unlocked now a lot of these you'll get as you level up so you've got your character level you've got your account level here I'll scroll back to the beginning you unlock someone there you unlock someone wherever it's, it might be in a beginner thing something like that but you unlock a couple as you go you get like the octane one you get the you get her you get uh, I think it's him you get a couple of them by leveling up. She was a login reward or something like that. 
But if you want to unlock them yourself, you've got two methods of doing this. You can either buy them with credits or you can pay money for premium currency to unlock them quicker if you really want to. But I, I think it's relatively easy to unlock them by credits. Now, credits are easy to get, guys. Now, I've got something in my mailbox here. What is it? I don't know. Anyway, credits are relatively easily obtained. If you go to the shop, you can go down to this menu here. I don't know which menu it is, actually, now off the top of my head. It's one of these menus. You get a free box once a day. Might not even be there. Might be in uh, this one. One of them. Anyway, you get a free box a day. It gives you some credits. Relatively easy to get them, like I say. You can do the seasonal missions. Level up the battle pass. This gives you credits. That's the credits there. These ones. Uh, you can do these sort of tasks every day where you get lots of things, blah, blah. You can just build it up gradually. And, of course, you get it from... Daily tasks, weekly tasks, so you get them from these, and you get them from these, maybe it's not that one. Okay, you don't get it from the weekly ones, but you do get it from the, the daily chests anyway, and you get them from leveling up your account. Once you've got enough, you just go to the shop, you go to Heroes, and whichever one you don't have unlocked, you can see at the bottom here, it'll cost you just under 12,000 credits to unlock the Hero. Now, I haven't got currently enough, I've got 10,600 to unlock the last very one I need, but... Eventually, I will be able to, but I can't do it obviously because it's the Chinese, but you can just buy the premium currency if you do want to just unlock them early. So you've got your eye on one, you want to unlock it relatively easy. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching the video. I hope you have enjoyed it. Like I've already said uh, numerous times in this video, if you don't want to miss any new videos, that includes tips, guides, game players, and of course live streams for the game, make sure you do hit that like down below, make sure you have subscribed to the channel, and you can also join my Discord server which is linked in the description, so you won't miss any updates I have about the game or just in general. But anyway guys, thanks so much for watching, and hopefully I'll catch you in the next one. Catch you then.